What's good, YouTube? It's that boy, Kobe. Mr. Bang Bang. Get it? Yeah. Anyways, I'm back. Got a tutorial. I'm pretty sure y'all saw it in the beginning. But, you know, I'm going to play it back again because I'm just that guy. But anyways, here it go. Yeah. Animating doors. Yeah. So, that's the tutorial that we are going to be doing today. Blah, blah, blah. Anyways, get into After Effects. Because, of course, that's what it's going to be in. And, yeah. But if y'all could see, let's turn off this fucking CC. If y'all could see, like, you could see the text coming through the door. I had made this mistake and messed up when I did it. But, let's get into it. So, anyway, what you want to do is drag your clip into it. Everything here will, will be in the description. So y'all can follow along, you know. Uh, which one is it? Door 2. PMG. Not that one. Not that one. Okay, yeah, that's one. Boom. Door. See it there. See right there. Let's hide that. Anyways, first what you want to do is, of course, track it. You want to track this. So if you got any camera tracker, Buju, the Foundry, or camera tracker in CS6, use it. So, we're just going to track this real quick, you know. Oh, so anyways, why is this shit is tracking? Yeah, pretty much fuck it. I'm just going to wait and tell y'all in a minute. Be right back. Okay, now it's done. So, what you want to do is pretty much select a point. Or pretty much, you know, around the door. So I'm going to choose this one because it's how I had it. Yeah. So, okay. What you want to do is now grab your door. And like this tutorial, I haven't saw nobody else do this because it's original. That's all I'm going to say because we're putting the door in this. And yeah. Anyway, so hit the little cute. Make it 3D. Uh, what you want to do is hit P. Your keyboard get the position and come up to the null and what you want to do is just copy down these numbers because I'm pretty sure you're not a motion track if y'all don't you need to learn okay so pretty much it's track now yeah so, what we're going to do is, yeah, hit S on your keyboard for scale. Click that little button right there. Like a uh, safety pin or whatever the fuck you want to call it. So, just move it up in position because, we you know, we're going to first down. Wait, hold on. Hit R, rotate it. Which one is it? Is the, yeah, it's the Y. So, just rotate it get it straight to like it's facing uh, yeah that's good enough anyways hit scale S scale it up just you know make it make it fit the door you know Right there, up a little bit more. Okay, yeah, whatever. That's good enough. Okay. Yeah. So now you see we got the door in place. It's most attracted everything. And what you want to do now is duplicate the clip. No, just delete the camera tracker stuff uh, bring the clip on the top hide it and what you want to do now we are going to be masking this out the barrel so just get close in you know whatever mask this barrel out do a little quick you know rough 
rough mask around it for the tutorial. But when y'all doing it, of course, take your time. Okay, boom. There we go. Sorry, looking like a door now. So what you want to do now is hit M and hit the um, keyframe button because we're going to uh, track the mask. So just hit the uh, mask path keyframe button. And I'm going to quickly track this. Uh, what I do normally is go, you know, 20 frames. So just hit page down two times with shift. And that's 20 frames. So I'm just going to track this real quick and be right back. Okay, I'm back. And I'm done with this. Okay, I'm done with the uh, tracking it, you know. See? Nice. Move. I like the door already there. Okay, so now we got that done. What you want to do now is mask out the doorway on the same clip. So let's just make this a quick mask real quick. Next thing you know, just make sure the door fits and shit. You know me, I'm just rushing it. Not caring. Um, hide the door so you can see. What I did was stayed around the crease of the black layers or the black line. Trace around her, you know, the garbage can. You can always fix them later. Okay, there we go. Turn the door back on. I hit M again. And which one to put the second one is on subtract. And there you go. I probably could have scaled the doors up if it was alright like I did on the other one, but the tutorial. Really don't care. So what you wanna do again? Is hit keyframe on the math path, and we're going to track this one again. Yay. So I'll be right back when it's done. Okay, I'm back. It's done. Fucking Countasia crashed on me. But anyways, before I had left, I had this to add, and you want it to none. You see it? Yeah. You, you, you can just see pretty much. That's explanatory. Yeah. So, pretty much after you track it, or make the keyframes, it should look like this. Yeah, so that's pretty much it right there. Um, you know, just take your time, like I said, to recess the door, make sure the door fit. Me being too lazy because it's just a tutorial. Yeah. Okay, so now what we want to do is animate the door. So what we want to do is click on the door. P um, image, hit P, okay, keyframe the position, go forward to whatever you want, and drag it down, highlight those, hit F9, yeah, I'll just let y'all know, I changed the shortcuts on my Camtasia to where I could hit F9. So, y'all will have to do that. I can't show you a tutorial on that because, you know, it won't let me when you're doing that. So, anyways, yeah, this is the animation part of it. Yeah, so pretty much, that's that's pretty much it right there. And pretty much what I did for the element, for the text, all I did was add a new solid layer, no matter what color, effects, video copilot, element, 
Uh, let's just type. Just type that for right now. Go back down. I'm pretty sure. Oh, uh, which I do for the environment control duplicate this again. Just delete it and hide it. And for the environment, like a uh, texture map, whatever the fuck you want to call them or some other shit. Yeah, just add that the second image, you know, the sec the second layer of the clip to there, and just add your text there to the text and mass layer. It's got a scene set up. Strut. Hit the environment. Go down to the clip that we use. And just throw some bubble and boss on there. Y'all could y'all know, know how to do it. It's whatever. Okay, so So what you wanna do is come down to group one. Look, particle, okay. So what you want to do is come back down to the nub, the track, the track nub. Go back up to the um, element layer and just copy the numbers and paste them in there too. And that's pretty much how you do it. Okay, and rotation of course. Get it right higher. Sometimes, you know, just move it around till where you get it at. Till where you want it at. Uh, what you want to do is drag the element layer under the door image. And yeah, there you go. And yeah, that's how you have it. And yeah, your text, if your text is a little bit long enough, it should, it should uh, get masked behind the door. Because don't forget, we mask this layer, the door layer, and everything. So yeah, pretty much simple, easy. <laughs> That's how you do it. You know, just add your particles, whatever. Throw some CC on there. And yeah, that's how you got it. Got an original tutorial, door animation, or whatever you want to call it. Mm, yeah, that's pretty much it for the tutorial. Unless I'm forgetting something. Uh, uh, nope, I'm not forgetting nothing. That's pretty much it. Yeah, don't forget to like, comment the video, subscribe. And pretty much that's it. This your boy Kobe. I'm out this bitch. Bang, bang.